Moldova will be trying to do the same, but will it be silver or gold? Or will it be the bronze? Who can make it to the final? Representing Latvia in blue, introducing the 2017 Austrian Open gold medalist, Denise Tarvida. Well, Denise Tarvida, the 19 year old, ranked number 10 in the world. She's had a few really good results at the kind of major open competitions German, Dutch, Spanish. Grab gold in all of them. That President's Cup, most recently in Athens. She took an excellent bronze medal. Unlucky not to advance to the final that day as well. Can she turn it around here? An even bigger stage and an even bigger opportunity. Representing Russia in red. She is the second WTF President Cup gold medalist. Tatiana. Well, Tarvida is on the mat and she will be going up against the world number three, Tatlana Kudashova. Well, she's had some success before in Korea. Took a silver medal at the Universiade in Guangzhou. European champion in Montre, Switzerland. And that President's Cup, well, she took a gold defeating Ines Tarvida, so they know each other well. And a nice smile there, Kudashova looking confident. Tarvida's route through that big win against Kim Min Jong, the Korean local favourite. So she's done incredibly well to make it through to this semi-final. And they will know that Zalaya Agris waits for them. Three big wins for Kudashova. Shu Haidai from Chinese Taipei. The centre referee. Primarily, of course, for the safety of the fighters. But also presiding over the next six minutes of action. Kudashova in red, Tarvida, her opponent from Latvia. The youngster from Riga, can she find a way through here? Uh, world number three against world number ten. But who's going to be in the world championship final? Front leg straight away there from Kudashova. Tarvida in blue on the defence, tries to hold the centre of the mat, goes with a chop kick of her own. Wonderful body shot there. Ines Tarvida, two points to the good. Kudashova tries to sneak a kick up the stairs there, but well blocked from Tarvida. There's plenty of power on those shots from the Russian. Can she convert here? Front leg attempt from Tarvida. All about distance in Taekwondo. You've got to try and manage your opponent, control them, and then when the chance comes, kick them. Seems simple enough. Tarvida is the only one that's managed it. Good defence there from Kudashova. Almost got caught in the head. As we reach into the last minute here of the first round. times the fourth match good block there from Tarvida drops the hands down covers the leg both fighters just cancelling each other out at the moment it's very hard to win a final or get into a final at this early stage but mistakes can cost you dearly at the moment it's Tarvida with the two points Kudashova just taking her time. Speaking of which, we're into the last seconds of this opening round. 
Kuda Shova tries to go for it, but she will have to go back to her corner for that President's Cup match in Athens that they had. Tatlana Kudashova was the victor by seven points to one. So Tavida really turning the tables here on the Russian. It's that body shot there. Landing clean and landing clear. And what does Kudashova do now? You've got to come out, be aggressive. But as we've seen, patience pays off. Shu Yandai, the centre referee. We'll bring them back to the action now. Davai, Davai, the shouts from the Russian coach. Fight, go for it. Tarvida straight away takes the centre of the mat, trying to control that distance. The gap between the two fighters' front legs in that danger zone again. Back leg turning kick just missing. Kudashova tries with one of her own there. Wonderful footwork from Tarvida, she escapes. Understandable tension here for Kudashova. It's not working out for the Russian. She's going to have to change her tactics here. Tries with a simple body shot. The clock is ticking on the efforts of Tatlana Kudashova, the world number three, was expected on paper at least to win. But on the map, it's a different story. Ines Tarvida looking good here. Back like a tempo from the Russian in red. A chop kick. Tries to go for it there. Wonderful flexibility. Just didn't get the accuracy there. Any head kick, of course, worth three points. If you spin, you'll get four points. So Kudashova, good tactics there. To try and get the biggest score on the board. And there's a headshot attempt there from Tavida as well. Testament to the defence of both. Russian in no hurry here. 20 seconds left in the second round. Tavida has been aggressive from the start. There's a headshot attempt, but a holding of the leg perhaps. Indeed, the Gamjon given. That could make a difference down the stretch here as we reach the dying embers of the second round. Well, it's not all over for Kudashova. She's keeping it going here. Well, the Gamjon can make a big difference. Lots of discussion amongst the Taekwondo fans and indeed the fighters as to whether punching and clinching should be an automatic Gamjon. It's decided about. On average, 20% of the matches have been stopped by those Gamjons. So, new modifications to the rules, much to discuss, but also much to enjoy. Tarvida was enjoying her lead, but it's been cut back a little bit by Kudashova. Okay, good. Well, here we go. They shared the ring in Athens in April. They're now here in Buju, South Korea, for the semi-final. Who's going into the final? Zela Agris from Turkey awaits. Will it be Latvia? Will it be Russia? Back right turning kick, walks into a headshot, but holding on the way through. The Gamjon that we discussed during the break, well, it makes the difference. The rules are designed to keep it flowing, no holding, no running away. Came here to fight, not to dance. 
Kudashova almost takes a headshot on the way through there. Good counter from Tervida. Tries to skip into the face there, getting closer. Chop kick attempt there. What's the power there? And it will be a Gamjon for falling over. The full point deduction. Enes Tervida back in the lead. Chomp kick just missing by a whisker there from Kudashova. Power punch from the Russian as well. And that makes a difference. Well, look at the athleticism from both there. That was more horse riding than Taekwondo. Four points each. And I think we're going to see yeah, the Russian corner judge or it should say the coach is having a little protest here. We'll get a chance to have a video replay of that. Well, you saw the athleticism of the fighters there. That flexibility and dynamic power. Tense times now for both coach and fighter. This one could be a real game changer. Let's have a look at it. Decide for yourself what the coach is complaining about. Chop kick over the shoulder. Kudashova grabs and holds on the way through. Uh, turning your back and running away. That could be what the Russian coach is asking for. If you turn your back to avoid, then it would be a gam John. And how important that could be at this stage. Well, has he played his cards right? Video adjudication panel will understandably take in their time. They've got a decision. Well, it has been rejected. The replay card is gone. The score stays the same. Both athletes using that little break there to think about their tactics. Stick or twist. It's all to play for here in the last 40 seconds. All tied up at four each. Kudashova trying to push forward. Tarvida was points up. The Latvian had the momentum. Can she get it back? Goes for the headshot. Leaves a gap underneath. 30 seconds left in the third. Well, no risk, no reward. Kudashova takes the risk. Almost countered there by Tarvida. There's the headshot there from Kudashova. She finds that flick to the face. She'll take a gamge on as well for holding after it. Those three points stand. And standing on the verge of the final now is the Russian. Can she defend? Push kick and there's a chop kick to finish it. Seals the deal. Wonderful stuff. Ines Tarvida of Latvia looked like making it through to the final. But Tatlana Kudashova had other ideas. Two headshots in the last 30 seconds. And the Russian pulls away into the distance. Top class stuff. Well, Ines Tarvida gave it absolutely everything she had. And the Latvian came close. But in the end, Tatiana Kudashova she wouldn't give up, worked so hard, and it all paid off in the last seconds. Breathless stuff there. Zaliha Agris awaits Tatlana Kudashova. It will be Turkey against Russia in the first final of day number four. And this is how she achieved it. So close until the end. Look at the flexibility there, that headshot, picture perfect. Obviously not Tarvida's point of view. She eats the chop, 